Hey, yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute. All right, so listen, man, this video has been due for a long time. Um, so basically we start where? So I've owned this truck since December, but I started driving it in um, sometime around March because of all the paperwork and stuff. And you know, you know how that go. If you've been following me, you know the story. But anyways, this video right here is just to do the 10,000 mile review. Yes, I just hit 10,000 miles like last Sunday. So uh, as you can tell, you know, I don't really drive this truck that much, okay? I don't drive it a lot, you know. Um, so I have just hit 10,000 10, miles on it and uh, let's talk about it. All right, so it's eight o'clock in the morning right now. I just dropped off a load and I'm done for the day. But um, this is a 2015 International uh, Durastar 4300. And it has a Cummins engine in it, which is uh, the same engine with most Fretliners. Uh, and uh, truth be told, you know, if you know about, if you know anything about trucks, uh, you know, most diesel mechanics, they prefer the Cummins engine to anything else, you know, so uh, it's just a good engine to have under the hood. But um, this is a 2015, you know, the tires are still looking good. So what have we done in the last 10,000 miles? You know, um, I have changed a tire on the other side of the truck. Um, that that were that cost me about three hundred four hundred dollars for that, so that's one uh, one thing that we have done to the truck. Um, also, I had to change the the driving shaft, so that cost me about five hundred and seventy nine or five ninety five for labor and parts for this um, new shaft. And uh, we have done an oil change. I think that that was about three hundred dollars. So all in all, I think I have spent about um, less than fifteen hundred dollars for the ten thousand miles that has been driven on this truck. I do have a warranty on it, but um, you know, there's new warranties. You know, they really don't cover a lot of things. Um, other than that, the truck has been running pretty good. I haven't had any issues with it uh, other than just like uh, my engine light comes on and off from time to time and it's you know it's little codes that are not you know related to the engine itself but it's a lot of electrical issues with this internationals so if you don't know why people don't like international trucks is because of the electrical issues the wires is just crazy and it just makes no sense at time so all the all the um, all the codes that are, I think I have about five codes that have to be cleared. Um, one of them being, they not, you know, big issues, but one of them being, uh, I did change uh, one of the light bulbs in here. So that's a code that still has to be cleared. Um, also, I have a sensor that's coming from, I believe, this mirror right here. It's a, some, uh, temperature sensor so that's the only code that always throws uh throws up every time i drive it closer and it's weird because it's always it always tends on when i come back from this one location that's closer to the ocean so i don't know what it has to do with the temperature wise but i just figured it out yesterday when he came back on and i was like it's so weird that every time i'm coming back from this location this this uh this code comes back on so it's all about temperature so i have to try to stay away from the ocean <laughs> and my light won't come on so i don't know eventually i think it's just a sensor issue so if i could change that sensor or whatever maybe it's just the covering in that mirror it has to change whatever but it's not something that's uh that's you know important right now it comes on it goes off you know after like a after like a, maybe a hundred miles driven so I'm not too worried about that. So other than that, um, 
my first 10,000 miles with this truck have been, you know, really good. I, I, I love driving this, driving this truck, you know. Um, one thing I have an issue though, it, the speedometer, it gets up to about 70 miles per hour. Like I think it's always, I think it's something that they did, you know, that you don't get to the maximum speed of 85. So uh, I might have to get that checked into me maybe a computer hookup and they could change that let me know in the comment section if you know what i'm talking about uh when you buy it when you rent a truck from penske penske sets their trucks to either 65 or 70 miles per hour that's the most you could drive so when you buy them out they don't really change that system i think it's a computer thing you could just hook it up to the computer and that could change let me know how that's done or let me know if you know what i'm talking about um but other than that um the first 10,000 miles driven on this truck has been pretty good and you know in terms of money wise i think we're at about a two dollars and ten cents per mile for the first 10,000 miles so there you have it you could calculate how much i've made with this truck thus far um but that's including a lot of miles that not that are not related to you know the business so um you know sometimes i do driving from here to pick up some stuff for, for the house or either picking up stuff from my for my brother he was moving and stuff and you know just back and forth doing whatever so not all the miles are really calculated into that 10,000 miles you know uh, picking up the truck from where it was you know all that stuff it's not all related to the business so but I'm just I'm think I'm you know roughly ballpark you know that's where I'm at so all in all you know this thing has been running good and uh, I pray that it stays the same way it is. And, uh, you know, we don't get into any issues. I do have a warranty on it and, you know, probably will extend it. I think it was a, I think it was a six month warranty or a year. It should be expiring in July. So we might have to just uh, get an extension on that warranty. But, uh, you know, the warranties most of the time they cover the big stuff, you know, transmission, the engine comp uh, com com uh, compartment and stuff like that. Not really the electric stuff, not really the, the driving shafts, they don't cover all that. Not really the, the O-rings, you know, every leak leakage or whatever what's leaking, they don't really cover all that stuff. That's on you. So you just got to make sure that you're getting the right warranty and, you know, sometimes you're paying a lot of money just for these warranties and you don't end up using them these engines right here you know they run for a while um i have a i have 186,000 miles on this truck now so you know i still got a long way with this engine so either way you know whether i decide to drive it for the next two years you know we'll see how that goes but um that could be by i think I should be driving, you know, my with my calculations, I should be driving about 65,000 miles a year. But I don't see that happening, you know, with me being in school and all that. So um, I'll probably be driving less than that. But that was my calculation at first, you know. So we'll see how the first year goes. And I'll just kind of, you know, come up with a ballpark number from there. But um, other than that, you know, it has a lot of miles to go. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it for the first 10, um, 10,000 miles on this truck. Uh, what else have we done? Well, I'm not going to talk about the cap that I had to change. That was, you know, that was an accident. So I'm not even going to put that on there. It's not part of the 10,000 mile review, but it's just something that I have done to the truck that was $100 and I did it myself. Still leaks. Nah, not really. It doesn't leak that much. Once in a while, but you, you know eventually i have to fix it i think that was coded at 2900 to fix that corner right there but um it's not leaking it's been raining crazy i just picked up a load it was crazy raining all night and there was nothing it was absolutely dry so we have pretty done a pretty good job up there um other than that uh there is nothing else with this truck the only problem is most of the time it's parked here it's i think it does appreciate me because i don't drive it crazy like that so it should take good care of me i take good care of it and it should take good care of me i drive it i park it um uh, it's been parked for the last week over here and uh, oh yeah we also have a leak uh, a leaking uh coolant leak 
down there somewhere it's a small leak it doesn't change it's it does it every time i park this truck for like more than three days you'll see a little drop here and there but it's not that much it does that you know it's as you can see it's still at max so it's really not a lot it's just you know it's probably an o-ring that has to be changed and again warranty will not cover that but we'll just figure it out you know if it does get worse or whatever we'll have to take care of it but right now it's not bothering me i do kind of drive this truck maybe every three days four days so it's not a big issue it's still on max i haven't put any coolant in there for like the last month and a half or whatever so it's just a drop here and there but it's not a major thing so that's another issue but you know we're just doing the 10,000 mile review how much we have spent in it in, in uh, fixing the truck less than 1500 and um, yeah you know that's that's pretty much it for this thing man I love this thing you know all I have to say is it's taking good care of me and I'm gonna take good care of it you know um, uh, other than that there's nothing much else um, you know so yeah that's that's pretty much it i don't think i have any more issues right now but um it was just you know really a review of the first ten thousand miles and just seeing how you know how the truck has been running so again you know trucks right now they are very expensive i know a lot of people are trying to get into the business but there's the prices for these trucks i mean if i have if i had to be if i was going to buy this same truck right now with a 186,000 miles on it i will be paying well over 50k for this truck right here you know so i believe i got my truck the right time you know they were just starting to go up in price and you know it was just the perfect time because truth be told 186,000 miles on a you know with the cummins engine 2015 i it, yeah i could definitely pay 50k right now for a truck like that so um yeah you know other than that you know as long as it's running and nothing you know nothing else comes up we should be in business for a long time um that's pretty much it guys i'm about to go back home and relax for a little bit i had a load today it was from 5 45 in the morning and you know i'm back home you know 8 a.m so not bad but anyways guys you know thank you for you know watching these videos and i appreciate all all of you out there and uh let me know if you have any you know any questions in the comment section whatever you want to talk about if you're trying to get a truck for yourself and you don't know what to go and get i, I, I what to look for in you know in a truck i do have a brother that's a diesel mechanic so i'm you know I, i'm talking from experience when i'm talking about trucks he doesn't like internationals and you know the only reason why i got it was it, it has a cummins engine and you know electrical issue you could take care of that from time to time but that's pretty much it he you know um so yeah yeah don't just go and get the max force whatever engines in the international those are crap okay rubbish so uh first preferences in america we live in america okay the first preferred engine to work on is the cummins engine you got the Detroits. You got the. If I had a choice, I'd get a cat, but they don't come with. They don't come with a cat engine. So, Cummins is number one. You know, you got the Detroits. You got the. You know, you got the cats, but you can't get a cat. If I had a choice, I'd be getting a cat. It'll be yellow, but um, I can't do that. You know, you can't find one in, in a cat. But other than that, just make sure that you know if you don't know what you're looking for in a truck, go ahead and go with a you know mechanic. Find a local mechanic, a diesel mechanic that you're gonna pay to come with you to look to you know to look into that truck and i don't mean to bash any 10 15 thousand dollar truck out there but make sure that you know if you're going to buy a 12 thousand 15 thousand dollar truck it's going to come with problems um it's well over three four hundred thousand miles so yes a lot of things is going to be breaking so go with a uh, 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 a mechanic so they can look it up before you buy you per you purchase it because yes you could be buying 12 15 thousand but you're gonna be putting another you know five to ten thousand dollars in it before you even start to make money with the truck so would you rather spend 30 
or 15 and add more money like you're gonna have to have a lot of money on the side just so just make sure that if you don't know anything about these trucks go ahead and get you a, a diesel mechanic and go with them pay him for the day whatever it is and go with him you're gonna end up uh, uh, spending uh, a whole lot of less money just trying to you know fix the truck um, you know they could plug it in and see what kind of codes that come with that you know if it could be fixed for cheap then cool so just do that do yourself a favor that's the first you know investment investment in your business right there if you don't know what you're looking into in a truck then go find your diesel mechanic pay them to go look uh, at the truck with you and then you go from there uh, but other than that um, it's been really good man again thank you for you know watching uh, if you like the content that i'm putting out uh you know subscribe to the channel you know he put that notification hit that notification button you know i i sometimes i do read my comments you know i have my instagram uh my instagram if you have any questions you want to hit me up uh in person just send me a, a dm and you know i'll reply you and we'll go from there um other than that thank you for watching this video and i'll catch you guys in the next video